So we're talking about what a lot of men have to go through. It's a lot of, uh, you know, ladies that have custody of the kids and a lot of men that have custody of the kids. But what we need to do as parents mm-hmm. is always do what's in the best interest of the child. So here's a case where this man um, have two twin sons and he took them to get a haircut. And the mother got mad because he got the little boy's haircut or whatever. And just the video is viral on Facebook. You can find the video on RickySmileyMorningShow.com. And she used her body and the little boys as barricades to keep the man from backing out of the parking lot until he explained to her why he didn't get her permission to cut their hair. Oh, boy. And, and they I, live in the same house? I, no, they're divorced. They're co-parents. So she stopped him by standing behind, behind the car the so car. that if he was to leave, he would have hit her. Absolutely. And mm. used the kids, too? It had the kids standing with her, holding both of their hands. And he trying to make the kids comfortable. Get daddy kids, get daddy kids, or whatever. So here's, here's a little clip. Mm. The car says, I need answers. As custodial parent, I'm supposed to know exactly what's what. Kim, can I leave now? Can you please tell me where you cut my children's hair? I cut. You had I no gave. My, I gave my kids a haircut. You had no authority. Did you cut? Do you have my kids behind us? My, you hear that? Mm-hmm. My kids. Mm-hmm. First of all, they're not your kids. They're our our kids. kids. Right. Let's show you that. I hate to see a woman saying, "Then she gonna cut my." It ain't no mine. You didn't get the baby by yourself. Mm-hmm. Oh, like all these deadbeat dads, uh, there's a lot of deadbeat dads out here, and then you got one that will come get them and will sit in the we don't. We, most men ain't sitting up there questioning you when you go and get the bright girl, the, the mm-hmm. girl look, mm-hmm. uh, braids, braids. But, and, and get the girl's hair done. And, and that's y'all time in, in the beauty shop together. Y'all go get y'all hair and y'all nails done. Ain't nobody bothering y'all about that. Look, look, look. I don't like the way the parts and she got too many hair bows and barrettes and too much pink <laughs> oil moisture. Who does that? A little boy goes to the barbershop mm-hmm. with his dad, yeah. where his dad get a haircut by mm-hmm. a, probably a man, mm-hmm. and that's a man thing and a boy thing. And this is a form well. of, correct me if I'm wrong, Spirit, because we have mm-hmm. our counselor Spirit here, mm-hmm. emasculation in front of the kids. Well, you know, it sounds like that, Ricky, but this runs so much deeper. This is conflict. This is power struggle behind custodial parents and the non-custodial parents. And believe it or not, I've seen it on the other end, where men who will have primary custody, who will have a wife or who will have a girlfriend or a grandmother comb the child's hair, they'll go back to the mother who, who tell that has bitch, visitation. T- tell that bitch to stay out my baby Ooh, head. No, oh. Can you tell her don't be putting those rubber bands in her hair like that? Can uh. you tell her don't be putting those colors? Man. No, see, that's not how we do hair over here. Uh. It's a power struggle, yeah. and the children become the pawns in that. Mad because the baby finally they don't have ringworms. No, mad because uh-huh. I can't have you or mad because you've done something else, so I'm using this moment to assert myself and what my rights are. But really, micro managing and doing things they have no business and terrorizing the children in the process. So so what what is what is the, the deal with that? And then there's a part where her mother, Miss mm-hmm. Woods, jump out of the car mm. and tells him, you behave. Mm. Uh. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? It, it's like so now now we're seeing where she get it from. So that's no effect. The mother told the dad to behave? If you watch that clip, you will be so freaking disgusted. It is just like, it is It is the clip that a lot of men go through. And a lot of men just say, hey, you know what? I'll deal Get with it. you when you're 18. I exactly. can't because yep. of your mama. I yep. just can't. I got to let my oh, kids yep. go. And then the child is without the father. Because I don't want to go to jail right. because I'm trying. He, this man is trying to leave. And she barricaded her and the kids uh. behind the car so he, wouldn't, so he wouldn't leave. What's so sad is that... I have a quote unquote Debbie kid's father. Mm-hmm. And I would give my left leg mm-hmm. for him to step up and actually want to be a dad and mm-hmm. want to be there. And mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And create those kind of memories. So mm-hmm. for a woman to have a man that she's no longer with that is putting forth 100% effort to be a father to little boys, mm-hmm. it, it that grinds my gears. Then. Then she went and looked in the car and said, who, uh, who else is this? She said, who is your mother? That's another little girl who's in the car. Start interrogating mm-hmm. the other kid uh. that was in the car. 
Because what she's trying to do, and this is what I want co-parents to understand, what she's trying to do is assert dominance and concert and have him know I am the one that's in control. You don't get to do anything with my kids without Out, me. Outside. Without me saying so. Oh, I've had to and say she's to very me before. Wrong. That, that, that's she's very the, wrong. That's not what's on the paper. Mm-hmm. Well, there's no paper. There's no damn judge uh, judge create this child. So why, why you? Oh, well, that's not what's on the order. Well, Listen. I mean, if he needs to be back at three o'clock at three o one, I'm calling the post. Yes. Oh, and that's crazy. the that's the, the 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 root of the problem. I think with us as people, a lot of times we are quick to run and get other people involved with mm-hmm. our process when we right. should be good enough to be able to have dialogue amongst each other and figure it out. Nobody else made these kids but mm-hmm. us. So well, why here's are we the real deal, though, hey, Crack, listen, most couples can figure this out without going to the court system, but there are roughly 10 to 20 percent of couples who are in what we call high conflict co-parenting relationships. Right. And you always know, as a, now, see, I do parenting coordinates parenting coordination. I work with these kinds of couples. You always know the quality of their relationship by where their order is. So if I have a couple that comes in and I say, well, what does your order say? And they go, oh, I don't know. We'll have to find I got it somewhere in a box. It's probably got some dust on it. I know that they usually do their co-parenting well. But if I have one that says, oh, I got a copy right here and I got a copy in my glove box and I got a copy in the other car, I know already that they are in a high conflict relationship. Yeah. And it happens time and time again and the kids are always caught in the middle. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna play you. Uh, play you some more of this. Cl- this disgusting clip. Uh, coming up next, Rick Smiley Morning Show. You ain't gonna believe the rest of it. Uh, Rick is smiling. Hot topic. Listen to this clip right here. Listen to this. Listen. Ma, can you get the police because he ain't taking my photo because he won't tell me exactly what happened. He has no right to do that. I asked you a simple question. So your mom gonna get the police? I don't know. I'm asking you a question. Where did you do this? Earl, they don't. Tim, you are really making the kids nervous. Earl, I know my own children ever since. Mine. Okay. Yeah, I know my children. My children, 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 not our. Them. Uh, I know enough. them, okay? Oh, I thought I left you. Yeah, see? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he told, I'm, I'm glad to do it. I'm going to get a haircut again. That's just a man. I, I'm sorry. You can get into whatever details you want to get into. When my son come to me, or my grandson, mm-hmm. I, I, I never, Ms. Pat, Ms. Pat is here. My grandson is, is here today. Uh, Ms. Pat is here. I, I had a conversation with his mother. I don't do that kind of hair in this house. Little boys in this house, in this house, they're going to get haircuts. As a matter of fact, he's going to get one today. I just haven't had time to go and do it. As a matter of fact, I got my nephew here. Uh, we all getting haircuts today. I'm going to get my beard trimmed. You're going to get a haircut because you got school Monday, right? Or whatever. So, you know, I got my niece and my nephew uh, stand here for a whole week from Savannah, Georgia. But you would make sure that your niece's hair was straight, too, though. Absolutely. She, she's straight. That's the way it Yeah, but, way I, it but I, I would call her mom, though. You know, but I'm just going to get here straight. All those cut gender all things. Off. All those gender things. Yeah, but but that's a man thing. You know what I'm saying? It, little boy, real, we're going to take our little thing. sons to get out, get their hair. It's part of raising Daddy, a boy. But daddies with daughters handle their hair, too. And that's what I want us yeah. to understand. Listen, I know that these are tough conversations, but it is my job as a therapist, my job as a parenting coordinator, to teach parents how to get it right. All the damage that we do, even when we think we're not the victim, we have to understand it takes two and people are saying well what did he do what did he do so i'm trying to point it out even in this situation he did two things one he said you're making the kids nervous so the parents are taking the kids take cues from parents so really he doesn't realize it but he's telling them how to feel and to validate that and then he says then he should have de-escalated by saying listen the kids are nervous in this situation i'm gonna go wait in the car he should have stepped away if he was trying to be the bigger person. So what you're person. saying, all men, if they get in a... No, okay, any I'm, person. Whether any it's Because it takes two parents. I'm sorry, Somebody's got to be the hero. Somebody has got to realize we're out of control here and I'm going to de-escalate even if By the other person... By removing myself. That's right. That's right. Okay, and, and then when you. she said, when you abandon us, and he said, oh, really? I thought I left you. It is an antagonistic relationship right there. Said, now we're going to conflict. She said first. It doesn't matter well, first. No, 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 no. It does matter. It does matter. I'm trying to help to you To say here. that he is attempting to antagonize her, he's responding. No, I said he's said. escalating. She escalating. Said to him, mm-hmm. I known, I've known my kids ever since. And he uh-huh. said ever since when? Uh-huh. And her response was when you abandon us. And she he should He should have never I said. I didn't abandon you. I, them. This I is what I'm, you. This is what but I'm trying to get. Get you to understand. Part, uh, I know. Uh, hold on, hold on. You understand your, your reply. 
what escalation is, is something, a response to what's on the bottom. So he should have never said anything. He shouldn't have had a conversation with her. So when she said ever since, he shouldn't have said ever since when. He should have already been walking to the car. He's already delivered the children. No, I wanted him to have a regular human emotion. This is what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to drop off his kids, kiss him, kiss them. And if it's already a conflictual relationship, do your goodbyes before you get there. Take the kids out of the car. If they were big enough to get themselves out of the car, he should have never gotten out. Drop the kids off. I have to stay say, in the Eva, car. Stay in the say, car. Now that's valid. Now, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's the only way to do it, I, and everybody be safe. That's now that that's, that's valid. the only way to stay safe. But what if she run up him? on the car window? Or st- what if he sees her running up on the car and trying to like possibly break his windows or do something? Dial like nine one one. People are already recording. I mean, you you are the victim that, but, at that point. But, You're the victim. But stay the, police, the victim. The police ain't gonna do nothing but take the man because the woman gonna no, lie. No, that's not and true. And then you start to get that's if they take true. both of the parents. Then who's gonna be with Hear the kids? This. The grandmama? Hear this? No. Who see the police. See, listen. The police still have to do a job as police. If you're sitting in your car and your car is the property that's damaged and you're the one with the glass in your lap you are the victim you stay in your until vehicle. she says he hit me no then she would have to prove it all right stay y'all in we, your vehicle we about to argue right. tape. there's videotape <laughs> we about to argue there's some more tape. we got spirit in the studio i'll be taking more of your phone calls call me right now all right 27 minutes after the hour y'all we're talking about uh, uh what a lot of men and women uh, or whatever go through mm-hmm. uh when one when one that when the custodial parent abuses power mm-hmm. and just being um, manipulative and low down and petty. Now, no, it goes both ways, though. When, when you have individuals who are in high conflict co-parenting relationships, you have to understand the kids get caught in the middle because they're trying to figure out how to go back and forth with each other. So right. non non-co- the, the non-custodial parent knows how to press buttons, too. That's not okay. the case in this clip that you're talking about. But we right. have to be real that it goes both ways. OK, and here's some more of the clip. Ma, can you get the police because he ain't taking my photo because he won't tell me exactly what happened. He has no right to do that. I asked you a simple question. So your mom going to get the police? I don't know. I'm asking you a question. Where did you do this? Earl, they don't... Tim, you're really making the kids nervous. Earl, I know my own children ever since. Okay? Ever since what? I know my children. Ever, ever since, since what? you abandoned them. I abandoned I know them, okay? Oh, I thought I left you. Oh, mm. now see, mm-hmm. see, now he's she's Jeff Freudian saying, slip, boy, to tell you, ever since. And now she's trying to condition the boys mm-hmm. at an early age to think that he abandoned them mm-hmm. instead of abandoning, instead of leaving her. Meanwhile, he's dropping them off for right. a visitation, but he abandoned them. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I need to get her on my couch badly. They both need to be on the couch, but I need her in specific. <laughs> What, he, mm-hmm. what, what does he do to be on the couch? They, they have to be on the couch because they have a high conflict they? relationship. Yes, they. Okay, spirit, and and even, even grandma. They all, see, listen, when we're working with them, you have to understand that you're working with an entire family. And so there are some issues on both sides. There has to be some agreements on both sides. And everyone who is touching those children are impacting them, believe right. it or not. So we have to get everybody on the same page but he okay. is calm spirit. yes he is. he is calm and she is provoking him and mm-hmm. doing all sorts of things to anger that man and i he agree is still taking the high road and you can tell that mm-hmm. his only priority are those boys mm-hmm. you can tell all mm-hmm. right here's another clip no i'm recording it too just to make sure that we're even steven okay yeah, I don't care about no that. problem oh, oh oh don't scratch the car oh no scratch the car go ahead do whatever you let's start right there, there. Uh, now the little boy in the back of the car after she's barricaded him, trying to keep him from bagging out, mm-hmm. the little boy got his choo-choo train mm-hmm. running on the car. He said, uh-uh, oh, don't scratch the car. And you hear what she said? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, scratch it. Right? Because she's mad. Right? Mm-hmm. She is Why bitter. would you tell your kid yeah, to disrespect bad. his father? Mm-hmm. That's bad. And to damage his property. Yeah. See, I'm mad at you. I'm upset. You guys got to understand, she has some real, real issues. He's doing everything that he can. He, he hasn't gotten it 100% right, but in that situation, okay, Spirit, he on, gets Spirit, an let me, A let me just for what you. he tried to do. Let me just press you a little bit on this issue. Mm-hmm. Spirit, it's, mm-hmm. 
if somebody, if I'm sitting here minding my own business mm-hmm. and somebody hit me, mm-hmm. it makes me angry when somebody say, y'all need to stop. I it ain't no you. damn y'all. Okay, so let me tell you, in that situation, what he should have done, he had already delivered the children to her. He should have gotten in his car and just sat there with the windows rolled up and called 911. He shouldn't have engaged her beyond that. He shouldn't have had any conversation. He shouldn't have Ooh. gotten into their relationship. Okay, that's, 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 that's I'm hard. telling you, I know that's, that it's hard, that's, that's, but that's, listen, life is hard. Spirit, life is hard. Hold on, spirit. Spirit. No, it's not impossible. Spirit, that's easy to say. He yes. got, no, it's not get... easy to say. It's hard to Spirit. say. I'm trying to the teach clip? the you right thing. Spirit. I don't have to see it to hear it. I'm telling you. Spirit. It, what Spirit. he needed to do so that his children did not see him have the exchange, because, see, we're talking about what's in the best interest of the children. He did not have to engage. And so I'm talking about so the hard he thing got so back we do in the car He should have got back in the car, rolled up his windows, and called 911. He could have left her there to scream, to cuss, to do whatever until the police came. And he should not have gotten out scene. of the car. No, it wouldn't when have been a scene. When the police gets there, it's the, a horrible when, scene no. for the kids to witness no, the police already, officer here with the mom and dad. No, That's, dear. No, 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 no. Let me tell you. It's already a horrible scene, and what the kids are watching is their mom and dad and their grandmother go back and forth. If he was to remove himself from the situation, she would be yelling at herself. And again, I know that point. it's not easy, okay, I'm but roll it's with the you. way to do it. Okay, hold on, Spirit. I'm going to roll with you. Let's go, go to mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to roll with you on that one. Okay. I, I see that, mm-hmm. but you know, uh, okay. It's hard. It's yeah, hard. It's hard. I'm, Let's go to I'm another here. clip. I'm Listen here for to this. The hard. Here's another part. Yeah. You need to tell me exactly what happened. Oh, so you got the boys crying. Well, you took his don't, drink. Don't scratch the car. I didn't take it. Don't scratch Answer the car. The question. Get daddy a kiss. Get daddy a kiss. Question. Did I pick him up, yeah? Put him down. Can I pick the kid up? Over the time. Yeah. Over the time. Stop. I've been through that. I've been through that. She said, put him down, you're over, over the, the time. time. Mm-hmm. Is that not retarded? Yeah, that's, that's no, horrible. Because I'm retarded. sure if the shoe was on the other foot, he wouldn't limit the amount of time she could spend with the now, kids. Now, if you watch the clip, he picked the kids up because the little boy was starting to cry. So mm-hmm. he picked them up to kiss the kid. To, mm-hmm. to give soothe him, him to, to make him feel him. better, to let him know it's all right. It's okay. But it's not okay. His parents are fighting. It's not okay. His He's parents not okay. is not, she's fighting. No, she's fighting no. because he said, can I pick Listen, the kid up? This is part of the reason why we don't get this right and this is part of the reason why our children continue to have trauma you have to understand that it takes two had he sat in the car and again i know that it's not easy but i'm trying to explain this to you so that some kids out there will not be wounded if dad would have just sat in the car mom would not have been able to escalate he had to be present for her to keep going he had to talk back to her for her to keep going she seemed crazy so spirit she, she seemed like she, she would have kept on talking listen and she, she, she would have but she his windows out listen Listen, but then that would have been her. That would have been her by herself. We so have then to learn she would how have to You would have said, well, he should have just drove off. But he that's can't, he can't drive off. Kids. Listen, Thank he can't you. drive off. The entire situation is traumatic for the children, right? Mm-hmm. The thing that you're looking for, though, is how do I de-escalate this and make this the best possible situation? And what the spirit, children spirit. would then remember is my mother behaved this way. Spirit. My father never did. I'm not making an excuse, Spirit. But what, mm-hmm. Now, what black man want to sit there and sit in the car and call the police not a single one but he almost has no choice in that matter because what is she doing but she's holding pol- him hostage which Spirit. is against the law Spirit, but i understand what you're saying mm-hmm. but don't a black man want to see no police officer Spirit. don't don't nobody want to see a Spirit, police listen, officer listen, you're missing the point i, I hear you, you ricky no, no, I no, hear no. listen don't no black man want the police involved in anything because what happens when they get there thank Ricky, you i hear you but if you are the person that is sitting in the car let me tell you what the police officer is going to do first of all he's going to separate them he's going to go and talk to her he's going to go and talk to this man Spirit. this is a hear she me gonna lie. this no, is no, no, of course no. she is she's but, gonna lie uh, and the police are Spirit, gonna you, don't know how you guys are not Hold listening on. though you guys can argue with me all you want to what i'm telling you I is that it's you. a civil matter there is nobody that's going to be arrested on that day he's going to ask both of them do you want to report and then they're going to go on about their business and the kids are going to be traumatized and they're going to continue spirit. to do this until the children are 18. Okay, That spirit. is what's going to happen without intervention. I hear you, but Spirit, you don't mm-hmm. know how it's going to go if the police call when it Ricky, comes dealing I, with a black man. Thousands of stories on this every day. I have at least 30 couples that I'm working with right now on this very issue. Okay. I've lived this issue myself as a co-parent on, on both sides. Right. I know this. Let me play you another clip. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Go. Would you tell me where you did? So I can't pick the kids up? Tell me what you did. They got a head cut, Kim. Where? Where, Earl? You put a shaver to their head. How dare you do that? 
You finish? Oh, I wish you let me leave. Yeah. Who gave you the right? You were over an hour and a half late. Yeah, get your chance, sweetie. Who gave you the right to shave their head? What? Well, don't I pay child support? And don't they my child kids too? Child has nothing to do. You are non-custodial with visitation. You have no rights whatsoever to do anything like this without consulting with me first. Oh, here comes your mama. Your nose about to get worse. Give that a kiss. This are the three-year-olds, not you. Okay. Grow up. You I know, I gotta get my clothes. You were respectable. No, there you go. Say another word to him. He's not even worth it. I know. But don't you ever don't touch my children like that again without consulting me. I am custodial. Okay. I'm going to give them a haircut next time. I'm just telling you, if they need a haircut, I'll give it to them. If they need a haircut, I'll give it to them. Damn right. right. Do you want me to send you the bill? You do not cut them. them. Yeah, send me the bill. I'm going to crack him on his head. What is your name, honey? No, that was a What's your name? Huh? Hold on, Miss what? You... Ronnie? What's your mommy's name? What's your name? What's your mommy's name? What's your mommy's name? Let the car go. Y all, y all Are you, you touching me? Get, get away from the car. Help! Are you hitting me? Get, get away from the car. Are you hitting me? Get you away from the car. Me. Did you just hurt me? Get away from the car. Did you just hurt me? Get away from the car. Did you just put your hands on me? Are you hitting me? Get away from the car. Did you put your hands on me? Get away from the car. Did you put your hands on me? This is Do you hear all of the foolishness? Now, you're only a lot going of to people. listen mm -hmm. to the mom and then the grandma. You're not listening to how he's escalating. You're not listening to how he's taking the bait. And now they are all three involved in a conflict. And all of the kids you know are being injured. I want to know what y'all think. Y'all listen, listening to this in your cars. And some of y'all been through this, even if you haven't been through this. I need to know. <laughs> What you think? Of, um, um, maybe I'm blessed. Maybe I do You're need to sit on the couch. See, this is what I want you to understand. I am not saying that she is not 100% dead ass wrong all day, every day. I'm not right. saying that he's not wanting to choke her out. I'm not saying that he might not even be right for it, getting into the altercation. What I'm saying is it does not help. It is wrong, wrong, wrong. And there are some right ways to do this. There are some right ways to de-escalate conflict. He was an hour and a half late to already a conflictual relationship which already is going to piss her off, True. okay? Play the clip. I'll write every last thing down for you if you want to. That's what we Name do Name one thing situation. he said that was wrong. The, the, the idea of him, him talking about how he left her, the idea of him saying, I'll do it again. She said These that. These are she, things that, that he it was is a retaliatory saying. He said, you're the kids. He said, Listen, I left you. I he wish that, that go back and play it. <laughs> I will go out and give you an entire script. Just in the last part alone is where he really lost it and started going with her. It is three people, three adults involved in a conflict that they never should have been. And Unfortunately, had cool. brother man just sat in the he car. He maintained his cool the entire time, no, though. No, he didn't. Because, like, no, he didn't it could have really crack. escalated. Yes, and Having dealt have. with crazy before, having dealt with crazy before, yes. I totally understand. Like, sometimes you just got to let crazy be crazy and sit back and just, like, you know, and he he gets, get your little slick remarks off no, every now and then. No, don't get your slick remarks off. Don't do it because it, that is the escalation. It's better than snuffing somebody.